Yo, yo, what up, everybody? Today, we're going to be talking about the UFC 250, or 261 is what it was, and it didn't go my way. Let's go. Alright, like I said, um, yeah, shit didn't go my way, um, <laughs> shit didn't go Mazadal's way, um, I just, man, I did, man, this is so crazy, I still can't believe he got knocked out like the way he did, and then, you know, what really pisses me off now, everybody's gonna say Usman's like, is like tough and, 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 and has heavy hands now, or, or his hands are getting better, I'm not taking nothing away from the guy, I mean, I'm pretty sure he's getting better. Everybody gets better every day, especially when you're fighting, when you're a champion and you defend it. You know what I mean? So you're defending every time you fight, you're fighting top tier motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, he's going to get better if he's beating them. But um, I think it, it all came down to um, Masvidal being cocky. That's what it came down to. Masvidal being fucking cocky like his normal self, um, acting like he can, you know, take fucking punches. No man in a U.S. fucking C can sit there and just put his fucking chin out and take a fucking hit from the weakest, from Ben Askren, which is not known to be a boxer. I'm not saying the worst boxer, but not to known to be a boxer. Couldn't, could even knock somebody out. You know what I mean? Could straight, I, I could knock a motherfucker out. Just hit him right. You know what I mean? If, literally, if I hit a UFC fighter, you know what I mean? If he just sticks his cheek out like that, and I just fucking hit him as hard as I fucking can, he will be knocked the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? He's not taking that fucking hit. I don't give a fuck who you are. You're not taking hits if it's right on the money. I'm not saying that I would connect right on the money, but if I knew right where to hit him, where it, you know what I'm saying? Dude, dude, that fucking hit, it was so fucking perfect, as in the timing of Masvidal coming in and the timing of Usman coming in. Dude, the timing was so perfect for both of them in the right action what they're doing. When Usman hit fucking Mazadol, all the sweat that he was that he uh, accumulated within the first round got knocked the fuck off of him. He hit him so hard to that's all you saw was sweat go the other fucking way. You know, opposite way of his head. His head went this way, and the sweat went that. Fucking unbelievable, dude. That was a fucking knockout. What I would not, rem I will not forget. You know what I mean? I do want to forget it, but I won't. You know what I mean? I won't forget it. Um, I'm pissed off because Mazdal could have had that fucking fight, and then we would have had, we would have had the, the third fight, which had been way bigger. You know what I mean? Mazdal's one of my favorite fighters, and then you know what else hurts me the most? Mazdal's done, dude. He's retired. He here's his chance to win a, a win a title. He didn't win it. I'm telling you, he's not even going to fill in for anybody anymore. That motherfucker is done. I'm telling you, he's done. Um, he's just, I, I don't know. Like, the UFC, you know, they go by contract. You know, the contract goes by how many fights are on. You know what I mean? So I'm not sure. He might have uh, another fight on there. You know what I mean? But it's not going to, it's not going to be anything. You know what I mean? They'll probably use it for a next, uh, a next Ucumber. Or Ucumber. A next person is doing really good. You know what I mean? They'll use Mazadol for his upstep. For his up uh, step. You know what I mean? So, they'll give him a chance. So if he beats Mazadol, he'll give a name for himself. You know what I mean? That's what they'll, they'll use Mazadol for that. And, you, like I said, use Mazadol. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, his career's over. It's fucked up. Um, his UFC fighting career's over. That dude, you're still, you're still going to see and hear from Mazadol everywhere. And, uh, you know. You'll hear from this guy, believe me. He was talking about um, um, being the next Dana White in um, in uh, bare knuckle boxing. So um, evidently he's going to start promoting bare knuckle boxing, which I think is a good uh, good move for him because um, he knows how you know he knows how to talk. He um, um, he knows how he, he's just he's just good at promoting. You know what I mean? The dude's not that big of a fucking fighter, and you know you know he pulls fucking big numbers when he come when, when he's on the card. So, uh, that's badass. Alright. I just wanted to get that one up and out of the way because that one was unexpected, dude. Masvidal has never, never been knocked out. Even when he fought fucking Kim, Kimbo, Kim, Kimbo, whatever his name is, back in the fucking day. Out in a backyard with nothing on. Just bare fucking, just, just, just two dudes going the fuck at it. I mean, when these motherfuckers... Dude, back I remember watching it. Uh, um, the one fighter they're fighting each other, dude. The one dude hit the motherfucker so hard his eyeball popped out of his fucking skull. Yeah, 
that's where fucking that's where Masvidal comes from. You know what I'm saying? That kind of fighting. Um, so he's going to start promoting that. And he's going to do good. But like I was saying, he's never been knocked the fuck out. Even when he did that, you know what I'm saying? He's been knocked down, but never knocked out. You know what I'm saying? I think like uh, I forget who is fighting. He's fighting with this big motherfucker that everybody thought he was going to get his ass whooped. And uh, the dude hit him, and you know he went down, but he got back up, and you know and he went back at it, and he fucking you know finished him off. I forget his name. Just look up old fights, and, and believe me, it's badass. The motherfucker's tough. But so um, yeah, that. And then you got the second, um, uh, the co-main event with fucking, uh, uh, your old, uh, Thug Rose. Dude, that fucking kick was on the fucking money, B. Dude, it wasn't even that hard of a kick. It was just a matter of, <coughs> dude. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> dude, last night's card was I mean the 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 shit was crazy the 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 timing on everything from the fucking start of the main card out every single fight was all about timing dude every single one even when the dude kicked the motherfucker with his leg and it broke it in fucking half and he went to go step on it and fell oh god dude. I couldn't even watch it dude oh god I'm fucking having EB just thinking about it He's thinking about because he's not thinking about it. He's just kicking. He's like, ow, you know, that hurt. You know what I mean? And then he's stepping back and he just. And then another fight before that. Motherfucker kicked him in the knee and his fucking. He's like nerves and shit like, like fucked up. You know what I mean? Like I thought he like, like broke his leg or something or, or fucked it up. No, he kicked him and his nerves were fucking like, like this cavoting. Like you could see like when he went in slow-mo and he, and he was like stepping on his leg. You could see his calf muscle just. It's going, it looked like looked like there's a, a a bug inside of his fucking skin. It was like, you know what I mean, going like that moving. Like you can see his fucking calf look like there's something underneath his skin moving. You know what I mean? That's how man, it was like twitching like that. And uh, motherfucker's tough, dude. He's like, yeah, come on, and he, and he, you know what I mean? He's like, fuck it, let's go. And he, you know, the second round's about to start, and he went out and he backed up and he went in and he gave out again. He's like, referee called it. He was pissed, but um. Yeah, I just, oh, man, so, like, that, uh, that was crazy, but that kicked it, fucking Rose did, dude, that thing was on fucking the point, dude, she just was, like, all patient, just up in there, fucking, what's her name, came in, like, you know what I mean, came in, you know, with, like, the, it was just a jab, and halfway with that jab, Rose just saw it, dude, and she's like, huh, little, like, karate kick kick, she came up, and then she snapped her, it was, like, here, and then she snapped her leg, that, you know what I mean? I'm serious. You got to look at it, dude. She brings her leg up. You know what I mean? At, like, because she, like, saw it. You know what I mean? So like, she's going like this. And as she's going in with a jab, she's bringing her leg up and over. So, like, waiting for the arm just to come down just a little bit more. And then she's just like, bet. Just fucking kicked her. Boom. Knocked her fucking. Damn, that was a beautiful fucking kick. What a beautiful woman, too, boy. You know what I mean? That was just fucking magnificent, dude. When she kicked her, I was like, oh, shit, that was beautiful. I mean, she, I mean, it was like, it was a fucking karate kid kick, cuz. I mean, she had her shit up, and she was just like, knock that motherfucker out, boy. Um, and then the other one, dude, that girl, man, she straight showed that she's a champ, man. I forget her fucking name. It's that, that Swedish, I think she's like Swedish or something like that, or from... Uh, Kazakhstan or something like that, Kazakhstan or Kai Kyanchistan or I don't know, but she's from, yo, that bitch is ruthless. She is ruthless, dude. You see, dude, the girl that she was fighting is known to be like, like, like you know, grab you and rah, and like throw you around and shit. You know what I mean, dude? She didn't do shit. That other, the champion was grabbing her and slamming her. To the fucking mat. Not taking her down. Slamming her. Every chance you got to pick her up. Boom. Just slam. This just fucking manhandling this fucking. This girl that's supposed to be the one doing so. You know what I mean? Oh, man. She just came out there and showed that she's a fucking champion. There's not going to be many people that can beat her, man. Um, I just. You know what I want to see? I want to see. Them two get their weight close enough to that one girl that's been going going through everybody and destroying them and has like two fucking belts, three belts now. You know, he's undefeated. 
I forget her fucking name. But um, um, yeah, man, man, that was a good, that was a good event, good event. Disappointing for me though. Um, I usually when I when I bet on uh, UFC, I usually uh, uh go for like um, uh, mo- m- uh money fights. You know what I mean? So like uh, like Moswell last night, he was plus three hundred. So you know, for every hundred bucks you put up, you win three hundred. So I mean, that's pretty good, man. Um, and I'll take the chance, you know what I mean, to lose, so, um, yeah. Yeah, I lost, whatever. But, you know what else is fucked up, man, that Smith fight, where, like I said, where the dude's leg, like, gave out, whatnot. Man, I knew Smith was gonna win that fucking fight, man. I should have put a nice chunk of change on it, but I didn't. I, uh, behaved myself yesterday and didn't bet a lot of money. But, uh, dude. If you bet on anything, yeah, you know, UFC is is fun, man. It's fun to bet on. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't encourage anybody to bet, man, because you can really get out of hand with it. So when I talk about betting on my channel, I am not. Do not take my advice. None of that. Do not take me serious for that, because it's, it's a fun thing for me. I do it to make uh, certain fights more entertaining, and yeah, just nah. Just don't do that. Um, so, uh, yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, man. So, I just wanted to um, just give my uh, give my thoughts on the fight. Um, I'm going to start doing this for... Um, I, wa- I, I was thinking about doing it for, you know, every uh, every Saturday. Because I watch USC every Saturday. And I was thinking about doing these every Saturday. I might. But it might just be for the UFC, uh, like, um, pay-per-views. You know what I mean? So, the next one I'll do is... Uh, uh, the two fit two sixty two, I think it yeah two sixty one was last night right. I'm sorry if I got the wrong n- r- uh, numbers wrong, but um yeah man, that's that um yeah. Spot on fucking money fucking just timing, timing was the key for UFC two sixty one. Yo, be easy.